Those papers have to be in Porter's hands no later than midnight. You know, Frank, you look tired. Why don't you let me take them? Oh, I'm all right. I'll just drop these off on my way. All right, but you get your beauty sleep. Now, that TV debate's tomorrow night. You want to look pretty for your public, don't you? <laughs> well, I think plastic surgery is probably more the answer than sleep at this time. <laughs> Good night, James. Good night, Frank. Crump on the phone, 23rd District. He wants to talk to you. Well, oh, I may miss Porter. You may lose the 23rd if you don't talk to him. You better let me take those. I may have a point. Okay, take my car. I'll wait for you. All right. Another challenge for the Green Hornet, his aide Cato, and their rolling arsenal, the Black Beauty. On police records, a wanted criminal, the Green Hornet is really Britt Reed, owner publisher of the Daily Sentinel. His dual identity known only to his secretary and to the district attorney. And now, to protect the rights and lives of decent citizens, rides the Green Hornet. the word. Let's hope whoever planted that bomb in Scanlon's car takes the bait. They just might. There it is. The upside down poster. That's a signal. Pull over.
get in. Name? Starkey. Jack Starkey. You mean you're it? The big plot against Scanlon? Just me. Now what's your proposition? Pull over and let Mr. Starkey out. Wait a minute. You dropped word you wanted to help get rid of Scanlon. I don't deal with little people, Starkey. But I did what you wanted. I flipped the poster for the signal. Man, you act like we sent for you. You just said the key word, we. Who do you work for? I told you, just me. Listen, Starkey. Even a fish that smells as bad as you has a head. Who is it? A guy. What guy? A guy, that's all. Just a guy. Give him a message for me. Tell him I don't deal with subordinates. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think that you... You don't have to think. Just tell him what I said. Pull over. Hey, when do we find you? We'll find you. <laughs> Starkey show us the way. office. No, I'm sorry. I can't call him to the phone right now. He's in the television studio on the air at the moment. I'm sorry. I didn't get that. Would you mind repeating it? I interviewed that party and he is behind us. Yes, all right. I'll give him the message. Thank you very much. Let him get a good start. Which may not answer your question, Mr. Carey, so I'll try to be straight with you. My opponent, Mr. Ryland, has made much of the fact that uh, during my years in office, I've been unable to apprehend the Green Hornet. Well, now, it's just a matter of public record, Mr. Scanlon. I mean, after all, you are the incumbent district attorney. You know better than I what steps have been taken to apprehend that notorious criminal. Mr. Ryland, members of the press, I want to assure you that everything necessary is being done to bring the Green Hornet to justice. Uh, Mr. Axford. Uh, Mike Axford, Daily Sentinel. My question's for Mr. Ryland. Uh, what's your reaction, sir, to the rumors, you'll excuse me for putting it this way, that your campaign organization is responsible for placing a bomb in Mr. Scanlon's car and for the murder of Dave Quincy? Well, if I may uh, say... Mr. I... Ryland, uh, let me answer that for you, if you don't mind. Uh, even though Mr. Ryland wants to defeat me for the office of district attorney, his honor is beyond reproach. Now, I've known him for years. And to suggest that he or anyone in his organization would try to remove me from office by any other than the democratic process is utterly ridiculous. I'm deeply shocked at uh, Mr. Axford's question. And this brings to a close another of our weekly programs, Debate the Issues. Frank, I want to thank you. I admit I was a bit flustered by that question. It was a terrible business, that bomb. Poor Dave Quincy. I've known him for many years. Frank, I don't know what to say except very, very decent thing, especially say on the air. We, we appreciate it. Oh, nonsense. Look, I only said what I know to be a fact. Now, you uh, may be managing your brother's career, but you're not the kind of a man who would resort to killing or placing bombs in people's cars. Now, if you win, you'll uh, win honestly. That's right, Frank. On the Green Hornet issue. But you know, he seems to be on your side. Hasn't pulled off a crime lately. Making you look good. Well, if I knew his address, I'd uh, send him a thank you note.
gets away and look busy. The big man will probably be here soon. Take a look. Go with him, Woody. that one out of the way. I'll take care of this one. So you're the man in charge. That's right, Hornet. I'm the man in charge, and don't you forget it. You misunderstand the purpose of my visit. I'm not for hire, Ryland. You know who I am. Obviously. And what are you doing here? To help the not-so-loyal opposition defeat Scanlon for my own reasons. Where's your brother? He would be horrified if he knew that we were together. He's clean, too clean. Then he'd be pretty badly shaken if he knew you were the one that ordered the bomb planted in Scanlon's car. He'd never believe it. No, I'd expect you to be more clever. That was a child's trick you pulled. If it had worked, I wouldn't find it necessary to be here talking to you. If it had worked, I wouldn't be within a hundred miles of you. There'd be an investigation, very wide and very thorough. Conducted by my brother as a new district attorney. Are you forgetting how clean he is? He wouldn't cover you on a murder charge. He'd expose you, strip you naked. And your construction racket connections would become public knowledge. But I have a hunch that Scanlon's getting very close to busting you. He's dancing around on the edges. I have to find some way of getting rid of him before he hits a bullseye. And you think killing him is the answer? You have a better method? Your campaign should tell you how. How? Your platform is built on the fact that the DA has been unable to capture the Green Hornet. That's right. Then supposing the Green Hornet pulls off a series of major crimes starting tonight and continuing right up to Election Day. That's very good. Very good. Warren Ryland? I don't believe it. But it's true. Only his brother doesn't know about it. The plan is simple. First job's gonna be the Century Bank. One of his clients built it. 
Warren knows how the alarm system is wired. He's going to disconnect it for me. Yeah, but you're not going to go through with it. I have to, Frank. But that'll cinch the election for Calvin Ryland. It might if he was going to play it straight, but he's not going to. Oh, you're expecting a double cross. I don't know where or when, but it's due. Britt, why don't you let me press my investigation into the construction racket, huh? Maybe tie things up, try to expose Warren Ryland. Your opponent's brother? Yeah. On the eve of the election? Why not? Oh, Frank, they'll yell smear campaign and gain votes. You know that. I'm a public servant, Britt. Elections aren't the only thing that I care about. I care about this one, Frank. If you lose, so does the Green Hornet. And so does the city. All right, let's see it. A surprise package for the Green Hornet. Is that thing going to work? It's set for 1202. At 12.02 in one second, there won't be enough of the Green Hornet to put in the matchbox. Well, need the demolition expert. Wait here. when I get to my safety deposit box. Right this way, Mr. Ryan. this mystery my dear brother tonight you are going to clinch the election how by capturing the most notorious criminal the city has ever known the green hornet same that that's ridiculous no it's not he's in that bank at this very moment working his way into a vault warren have you gone crazy how do you know that let's just say i got a tip bought and paid for Look, is this some sort of a joke? Calvin, with the stakes we're playing for, I wouldn't be joking. Come on, I'll show you. out of here, Ryland. Can't do that, Hornet. You're a prisoner. Captured by the next district attorney. That's correct. So you're in on this, too? In on what? Don't pay any attention to him. Let's go. We'll call the police. Wait a minute, Warren. I asked you, in on what? Haven't you told the future district attorney about our plan? What? What plan? What are you talking about? Calvin, we've got to get out of here. I'm not moving until I find out what this is all about. 
Your brother and I worked out a little deal to guarantee your election. What about this war? Calvin, look. There's, there's a bomb going off and there's a bomb. Hey, 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 hey. Now, what is this all about? was a bomb. I wasn't expecting any more from your brother. I found it, disarmed it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. This is a side of you I didn't know about. Your brother has many sides, Mr. Ryland and quite a few angles. Far enough. Now listen, I've been listening to you too long. Get me the police. Let's go. Although I'm deeply grateful to the many people who have supported me during this long campaign, I most regretfully have no choice but to withdraw my name. I commend you to Mr. Frank Scanlon, an excellent district attorney. Oh, that's too bad, Britt. <clears throat> He's a good man. I only hope that the mayor can convince him to stay on as commissioner of public works. Now that he's got his brother off his back, he can do a good job. Yeah. You know something, Britt? Hmm. Next election, you ought to run for office. A good political campaign might liven things up around here. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.